Well, this was my home golf course. I grew up just around the corner, watching lots of golf tournaments at Royal Melbourne in the 80s, Greg Norman and Jack Nicholas and all those people. And I used to play golf at Sandy Golf Course, which is right next door. It's a very unique place. Back in the 20s and the 30s, all the city golf clubs moved out to this area out here and it just happened to be serendipitously perfect terrain for golf, great sand, great vegetation. The golf DNA is really strong here and it's just elegant, beautiful conditioned golf courses that are just fun to play. It's home. For me, growing up, sport, I mean, there was the footy, such a big deal, the cricket's always every summer, the MCG's an unbelievable place, the tennis centre to go watch the tennis, the Grand Prix was here and always had golf tournaments. It's a quite a diverse population, creates a great melting pot and a great food culture, a great coffee culture, a place where every restaurant's trying to one up next door, so every restaurant gets better and better. Well, so it's the best, I don't know, like it's culture-wise, I mean, it's not quite Scotland, but it's close, you can go into a cafe for lunch and people all have their golf club out their back pocket. And um, It's quite common that you'll bump into people who are going to play golf or they're coming back from golf. So it's a very sort of a golf, golf centric sort of area to live. For good reason, it's maybe the best city in the world with the highest density of really good golf courses. It's a great place to be if you're a golfer.